Sublime, Alison Janney, is here. Look at you. Alison Janney. Now, this, I've got some huge news to share, and Alison, I don't even know if you know this. Today, no, your being here, you have broken the record what? of the person with the most appearances on The Late Late Show. This is your... I know. I know. Are you serious? I know. 11 that appearances. Can't be. That, yeah. that can't be. How many? 11? 11 appearances on the show. 11? Yes. Did you say 11? 11. Elvin. That is one of my favorite numbers. That is well, a lucky you number. Be so honest. I can never appear again. On a list, <laughs> on a list of accomplishments, here's, here's, like, the Academy Awards, and here's... I don't know, like tripping over in a store. Where, where does it, where does it rank? Tell me, no, really? I knew it. It's bigger oh, see, than. See, you're going that way. I was going this way. Well, so I'm go... out of frame. That's how high you're it out is. Out of frame. To me. It's out of frame. <laughs> out of this world. I'm so honored. You are such a dear friend, and I love you. And I'm I love very, you too. I'm proud to have this, uh, this d distinguished, uh, 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 you know, mark in my career. Well, I'm proud. I'm also I loving that I always knew, I always knew that Alison Janney had a grand piano in her house. Didn't you, gang? <laughs> you felt it. You felt it. You felt it. Well, yes. You see, I have a piano there because my father, uh, who you met last a couple times yes. ago, he plays the piano, and I have a lot of friends who play the piano, and I like them to come over and play it. I play one Joni Mitchell song, and that's it. Last time I saw Richard, and I'm very good at it, but it's the only song I know how to play, and a little bit of Moonlight Sonata. But um, I just like to have instruments around for, you know, friends who are talented. But I don't think that's the only reason, because you formed a band. Do people know this? We have a photo. Look at this, here. I never knew this. It's, I never knew how much I needed this. You formed a band. This is you. Talk us through who is in this band. Okay. Well, uh, to my right uh, is uh, Courtney Cox, who is playing the piano there. And there's me in the center uh, uh, doing something strange with On my the mouth. Guitar. And there's Mary McCormick, who uh, is the lead singer. Oh. And uh, we decided uh, just from one night together that we needed to form a band. And Mary McCormick came up with the name Broken Dolls. And Which we is a great researched... name for a band. Broken Isn't it Dolls. A great... That's what we thought, too, and I think someone else is using that name, so we have to kind of change it to either hashtag Broken Dolls or Broken Dolls with a Z or something. I don't, I don't know, but we, we, we've only... We've actually only played one song together. We've never rehearsed. We played Lady Gaga's uh, A Million Reasons. And, um, Big song. And, and, <laughs> and then I'm working... And, and the, the problem is I don't really know how to play the guitar. So I'm, I'm learning, and I started to learn, and then the pandemic happened, and I, I, I you know, put down my guitar, and now I'm afraid I'm going to get kicked out of the band. But um, I don't think they're going to kick you out of the band. There you go. You know. There you go. Acoustic guitar for dummies. And I know I'm that book very well. It sits <laughs> over underneath Tim. It sits oh, really? over underneath Tim. Every show, <laughs> before a show, I see him <laughs> flicking through that, just getting some, uh, <laughs> some tips. Will we ever get to see Broken Dolls perform live? Well, we don't have a label yet. We're, we're, we're looking, we're shopping around, um, and uh, we will perform live, uh, uh, whether it's uh, in someone's backyard or at the Hollywood Bowl. That hasn't been determined yet, but um, I... Listen, it's been... Who doesn't want to be... Who doesn't have secret dreams of wanting to be a rock star, a musician? Don't, don't you, James? No, I don't really enjoy singing. <laughs> yes, you do. That's a lie. I'm joking. Alison, oh I think there's, there's a wolf walking behind you in your house. Oh. There's a, a, Daddy? A, a wolf oh. just walked through the frame. I mean, I'm up for going to see the Broken Dolls, but I will say that is a low bar because I'll go and see any concert right now. <laughs> any live... What was the last concert you went to, Alison? Oh, sweetie, I would have to say... Oh, uh, that would be Vegas, 2019, uh, October... Uh, Janet Jackson, Rhythm Nation. Oh, what a night. It was off the charts crazy. I went with my girlfriends. It was girl trip to Vegas. And um, we, I was all excited to, we got passes to the after party and I was going to go backstage. And, and, uh, but the only problem was that uh, my friends kept getting me drinks. And in Vegas, they're like, you know, slurpy size. Yeah. 
and uh, they were, you know, vodka sodas. And uh, and we danced our asses off and were drinking slurpees of vodka sodas. And uh, I was in no condition to go back uh, stage and meet Janet Jackson. So uh, we, we did go to the after party and she may or may not have been there. I don't remember. Very wise, very wise of you not to go backstage. <laughs> I wish I had that judgment when I was drunk. If I'm drunk, I'm like, they're gonna love to see me. And I go, you don't have a pass. I'm like, let me in. <laughs> Janet, Janet. <laughs> <laughs> Now, this Friday, Alison, you are participating this exciting in a West Wing cast reunion on YouTube. It's a fundraiser for the Actors Fund. What can you tell us about it? Uh, it's on uh, Stars in the House, and it's uh, Seth Rudetsky uh, and his husband's show, and we will be on there just, I don't know, I think we'll be taking questions from fans and, and uh, a lot of the bands back together uh, for, for this performance. It's at 8 o'clock on East Coast, 5 p.m. Uh, uh, West Coast, and I'm not sure what's going to happen. I'm, it's just going to be all of us on a Zoom and answering questions and being ridiculous together, which is usually what happens when the West Wing cast gets together. I'm excited. I'm excited about this. And many people noticed that Jen Psaki, President Biden's press secretary, is giving <gasps> off major C.J. Craig vibes. Wow. What do we think oh. about this? I am incredibly uh, flattered that you would put us side to side, side by side like that. I think she is, she's the real life C.J. Craig. She's the real hero. I just, I, I so admire her. It's so lovely to see someone in that office, in the pre, you know, as the press secretary, you know, being friendly to the press, being so smart and capable. And I'm just, I just am in love with her. And I like to think that maybe she grew up watching West Wing, so I had a little bit of a influence in her, you know, career path. Maybe. I think you did. I think it's, I, I don't know. Is she saying full lid at the end? Does Guys, she say full lid at the end? That's a full uh, lid. No, she doesn't say that. I wish you'd uh. hydrate yourself more. <laughs> I really, I really, it's my one worry for you. I just don't know if you're taking in enough fluid as you drink from a... What is that? Is that that's a, a car full of water? Is that what you're drinking from? I was hesitant to pick it up because it so clashes with my suit, but, um... I'm, don't I, lie. I really don't You've got a different water. water bottle for every outfit you wear. You're like, guys, I'm wearing green. Get the green <laughs> vat of water. <laughs> This is just to encourage me to, to drink, and it's got little, like, things. I'm, I'm only at, oh, I'm only at 10 a.m. I'm supposed to be, what time is it? I it's don't know. Gone it doesn't three. matter. Uh, 8 a.m., it says, ready, set, drink. And 10 a.m., it says, you've got it. And then at 12 p.m., it says, keep drinking. And then at 2 p.m., it says, halfway there. And then 4 p.m., no excuses. 6 p.m., a little bit more. 8 p.m., you made it. Wow. It would only now, be good. Is, if around 5 p.m. it said, <laughs> have a glass of wine. <laughs> That's the best thing that could do. Keep up, you've well, done well. Have a smile. My little secret is this is filled with, this is vodka, so. <laughs> <laughs> now, sorry, we'll just let you hydrate a little more. As, I wish they would hang it's it upside down. Here. I wish it was upside down just off frame and you had to drink it like a hamster. <laughs> 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 now, it doesn't even come out that way. It must like it doesn't come out that way. You have to have it like that. Anyway, let's talk good. about Mum. It's the end of an era. Series is ending after eight seasons. How are you mm. feeling? You've already gone through this once before of doing a show that has come to an end. That you're. I know how fond you are of all the people that that work there and work on the show. Do you know how the series is going to wrap up? How are you feeling about it ending? I'm sad. You know, I wish that we'd had at least another year for the writers to have that much time to ramp up to the ending. We sort of got, found out uh, uh, sooner than we thought we would hear. <laughs> we thought, surely they're going to want more mom. Um, and uh, they decided not. And there's so many reasons behind that, most of them probably money. Um, but uh, I know that Chuck Laurie is writing the final episode. And we're right now filming the third to last episode. And, you know, I just, I'm having a lot of uh, moments where I'm just standing on set and taking it in and looking at all the faces I've looked at for eight years. And, you know, it's really lovely to have a, a, 
be a part of a show as an actor. You don't get to do that very often. Where no. you're, I mean, I've been so lucky. Seven years on West Wing, eight years on Mom, and I have a real community of, of, of people that I love, and then it's going to be very hard to just have it all of a sudden, it's gone. And, uh, and, and no matter how much I prepare myself for it, I know I'm going to be just tears, buckets of tears. and yeah. just Because it's just been so incredible, all the amazing letters I get from, from people who are in the program or people who, are, who got sober with us. And it's really, um, uh, it's been a, a great show to be part of. And, and, you know, it's so rare when you do something like that and, and it, it ha affects people in a positive way out in the world. It's just, you know, it's, it makes me sad. But onward, more later, you know? Well, you should be extremely proud of the Thank show. You, you, you I am. are so amazing in it as you are in everything.